guys, what is up? It is me, Octopussy Videos here, back at it again, with another fucking story time, okay? And today's story time is fucking weird as hell, okay? Now, this story time is actually one of my more wilder stories that I ever had, like, in my life. And, um, it's very iconic to my friend group, okay? And I'm very interested in telling it today, okay? Now, this story was actually supposed to be in my 2019 video, The Terrors of the Public Restroom, which, if you don't know, was, um... A commentary video kind of like this one where I talked about, um, you know, weird shit that happened in the restroom. And it's fucking funny. So if you want to watch it, go check it out. Anyways, um, enough with that. <laughs> um, anyways, let's jump right into the story, okay? Um, let's go. Okay, guys. So this story time took place freshman year of high school, guys. And um, basically, um, at the time, uh, it took place in my friend Braxton's science class, okay? And there was this other kid that was also in that class, you know. And his name was Sean, okay? Now, how would I describe Sean? Now, Sean was a bit of a... A bit of an obese guy, you know. He was a bit of a... He was very fucking large, to say the least. And he also was a bit, like, slower, you know. He was very, like... You know, he was, he was a very slow guy. And, um... Basically, um... Sean also had a bit of, like, a weird side to him that, that made him a bit, like, like not, like, a little unsympathetic, you know? And he, let's just say, had a, would always have a, a little bit of a routine, okay? Now, what do I mean by a bit of a routine? Basically, every day at around, at around like, 1, he would go to the bathroom, right? He would do this, and he would, like, stay in the bathroom for the entire class. He did this, like, at, at three different periods, okay? One of them was in PE, which I'll get to later, and um, this one was in science, okay? So basically, he would just stay in there for an eternity, and basically one day, um, Braxton and Mark had to go pee, okay? And they decided to go, and they left science to go to the bathroom, right? And this happened to be at one, okay, when Sean was, you know, doing his routine, okay? Now, what is Sean's routine, you might ask? Well, let's get right into that, okay? So, basically, Braxton comes right to, into the restroom, okay? And um, he hears a bit of a noise, okay? A bit of a familiar noise that went like... <coughs> Braxton looks around, horrified. And then he realizes that it's coming from the big stall. He then he also hears something else. And it goes a little bit like, ah, ah. Braxton kind of puts two and two together and kind of knows what's going on in that bathroom. Yes, yes, he was fapping in the bathroom, okay? Yes, this was his routine every day. But what made this even funnier is that at the same time, Braxton is dying from laughter and literally slips on the fucking floor and barely catches himself on the sink. And he's, like, just holding in laughing as Mark comes in. And then as, as Mark opens the door, Sean apparently comes and apparently farts at the exact same time. And it sounded a little bit like... Bleh! And that's when Braxton fully falls on the floor and laughs his ass off. Sean then comes out of the stall and is like, Hi, guys! How are you doing? Yeah. That's something that happened. Anyways, let's jump to maybe a few days later, right? I'm in PE class, okay? And I'm in PE class with my good friend Sturgis, okay? And this PE class is basically just a class where we fuck around and get on our phones, okay? But guess who else was in that class, okay? Yes, it's our good friend Sean, okay? He was in the class too. And um, obviously, he kept up to his routine very well, okay? He was always in the fucking bathroom fapping, okay? And we all knew what was fucking going on in there. And one day, me and Sturgis decided to go in the fucking bathroom to go pee, right? And obviously, he's fapping in there. But what we hear is absolutely abhorrent, okay? This time, we hear fucking horses. Yes, he was watching fucking horse porn in the fucking school bathroom. Yes. And th this time, Sean was going absolutely ham. Like, this was his fucking jam. Horse porn is Sean's jam. What the fuck? Anyways, um, me and Stern just overhear this shit, and obviously we leave in fucking disgust. Like, we don't even fucking pee. We finish peeing, you know? 
we just kind of put our dicks away in shame and leave the bathroom. Anyways, um, yeah, so after that, um, we're waiting outside, and um, our coach decides to call everybody in for a game, right? And because uh, for whatever reason, he didn't fucking start doing his fucking job till halfway through the period, right when we're about to leave. Anyways, um, yeah. So, yeah, anyways, he calls everybody out into a line and asks them to raise their hand to choose what team they're going to be on. And Sean had to raise his hands. But, yeah, Sean had his hands in his pocket, okay? And coach is like, Sean, can you please raise your hands? And... Finally, Sean, after a bunch of fucking forcing, ha- rose his hands. He's like, fine, I-, I guess so. And then he had the fucking smallest boner you've ever fucking seen from that fucking horse porn. Still. Yes, absolutely disgusting. Absolutely nasty. Yeah, th- th- it's quite, quite, quite a filthy story that I told today. I have no clue what happened to fucking Sean, by the way. Like, after fucking freshman year, that guy vanished off the face of the earth, like... Who the fuck knows? Um, yeah, but this guy was fucking... Anyways, he's not the weirdest guy I knew in high school, by the way. Um, yeah, this is just more of like a, a fucking like bizarre fucking tale, of, and it's absolutely disgusting. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, and um, I'm kind of rambling at this point, and yeah, I, I recorded this video high as fuck. Like, I took like fucking, like, yeah, yeah, so I, I hope it turned out fucking good. And, yeah, anyways, um, I'm fucking rambling. Uh, goodbye, farewell, and adios.